Hello everyone. It is September 21st, 2022. And today I finally set up my my Chris's Granite Paradise YouTube channel. I hope to be posting uh, quite a bit of content. I'm not sure how often uh, I will. I have a lot of videos from years ago. I'm going to try to transfer over. Uh, but this is the first one that I'm officially doing for the channel. And Thank you for uh, viewing and subscribing and liking. I hope uh, you'll subscribe and that you'll uh, follow along over the next few years or whatever. How, however uh, this works out. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. Anyway, uh, of course on the website there's a plethora of photos and other videos and, and things you can enjoy. Today... I want to show what it looks like here when it's raining because that doesn't happen very often. It seems like um, Fort Collins has become a, quite a dry climate. So when it does rain, a light rain that you can actually walk out in, I like to show off the colors. Everything is much more colorful when it's wet. I go, um, and some friends of mine and my wife and kids, we go out rock collecting from time to time and my favorite is to go when it's wet. Here's some that I just brought. Um, from the the local river here. Just a lot of quartz and different things. Anyway, I use the natural rocks to uh, decorate the sculptures. And the sculptures, of course, some of you may have already seen this in other mediums, but uh, they're made of reclaimed granite and quartz from the granite countertop business that I worked in for 26 years I think it was and uh, we'll just walk through here see the pathways are made of the same granite and different sculptures here's some rocks from uh, up in Montana I believe these are from the Bighorn Canyon and uh, no the Little Horn I think it actually is this is one of my favorites. This is a, a bench made out of emerald pearl, which is a granite from Norway. Very pretty when it's wet. Pretty when it's dry, too, but it just shows up so much more when it's wet. Some rose quartz. Let's let you guys get an idea of the color scheme here. I need one of those long extensions that I could hold the camera further away <laughs> so I can get up higher. Here comes my dog. Come here, Fiona. That is Fiona. <laughs> one project that is, I don't know when it'll be done. But during my last few years in the granite business, I would take the long strips of granite off our saws and use a chisel and snap them. I would kind of mark a line. If you could imagine, I'd mark a line here with the chisel, flip it over, do the same thing, and then it would just pop. It would just pop right off, and it makes makes this beautiful chiseled edge, and it's on both sides. And I have a lot of this stuff. I have like six stacks like the one I just showed you. You'll see them in different places around the yard. And I'm hoping to do a beautiful patio with benches and a table and walls around it made out of that material. And then this here is what I call the pile. It's about six or seven thousand pounds of what I considered to be interesting and exotic rocks that we went through over the years. Blue pearl, there's stuff from Brazil, there's stuff from Norway, India, garnets, rose quartz, you name it, it's probably in here somewhere. And again, they just show up really nice when, when it's raining. These, believe it or not, are from California in the Central Valley near Los Baños. <laughs> a friend and I flew over there. We filled up a plethora of large flat rate boxes and mailed them to ourselves. A 
Again, just taking advantage of the rain. It's really nice when it's wet. You always want to remember to look up if you come here because a lot of the stuff is way up in the air. I'll gradually do videos. I was going to start saying things now, but I think it, the video would be hours long of where everything is from. I'll do individual videos uh, as time allows of the different sculptures and keep you guys up to date. <laughs> we'll go over here real quick. This is just, this is what I call the second section. Started it a while later. I'm not sure what to do about the bunny and the duck. I'm wanting to follow an animal theme back here, but I don't want it to look eclectic either. So I need to, maybe you guys can give me some suggestions in the comments. <laughs> Some more beautiful rocks when they're wet. Some of these have been mailed to me. Some of them we've gone out and collected. I have friends that love me enough to mail me rocks. That is true love. When someone will mail you boxes full of rocks. Let me tell you. That's a rush. Thank you to all you guys who have done that. <laughs> that up there, I think I want to make it like a, to look like a giant bird's nest. I need to get a big sculpture of an eagle or something to put up there. Here's some more of that. I call it wall stone, the stuff with the chiseled edge. There's a bunch more of it over there there is a little wall there that I actually did build I did that probably 10 years ago I'll take a chance and walk across the grass I have a dog and she leaves goodies in here sometimes <laughs> these are from the Yellowstone River in Montana That's actually the sculpture that is in my profile uh, picture. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is just kind of a welcome and just to give an official start up to the channel. Comments and suggestions are always appreciated, um, as well as uh, constructive criticism. Thank you and have a good day and hope to see you soon.